This begins with a force we cannot touch, yet it powers every sunrise. It burns in the heart of our sun, quietly shaping the life of every living thing on Earth. And for over 70 years, we've been chasing it. Not to destroy, but to survive. Nuclear fusion, the holy grail of clean energy. But replicating a star isn't just difficult. It's maddeningly unstable. Inside massive machines shaped like donuts, scientists try to trap lightning with magnets. Most fail, but now artificial intelligence is stepping in and reshaping the fire. Because maybe, just maybe, the sun can be taught to obey. The fusion dream. For decades, nuclear fusion has sat at the edge of human ambition. Almost reachable, but never quite real. It's a reaction so powerful that one teaspoon of fusion fuel could, in theory, match the energy of tons of coal. No carbon, no meltdown risk, just pure power from the same reaction that lights the stars. But that simplicity is a lie. To make fusion happen on Earth, we need temperatures hotter than the sun's core. We need to trap plasma, a seething soup of particles, without touching it and we need it to stay stable long enough to release energy, again and again. Fusion isn't just a physics problem, it's an engineering nightmare. Yet, the promise is too great to ignore. Every major global power is racing to solve it, not for profit, but for survival. In a world choking on fossil fuels and haunted by climate collapse, fusion has become a quiet obsession, one that could turn deserts into power farms and light cities without smoke. But obsession doesn't equal success. And until recently, one part of the puzzle kept breaking the dream apart. We couldn't control the flame. The sun on Earth. At the center of the fusion dream lies a machine that looks more like science fiction than science. The tokamak, a massive ring-shaped reactor designed to bottle the sun. Not metaphorically, literally, inside, Hydrogen atoms are heated until they shed their electrons and become plasma, the fourth state of matter. At over 150 million degrees Celsius, these particles move so fast they can collide and fuse, releasing incredible energy. But there's a problem. Nothing solid can touch plasma that hot. It would vaporize in an instant. So instead, powerful superconducting magnets are used to suspend it mid-air, shaped like a spinning donut known as a torus. The fuel, deuterium and tritium, rare forms of hydrogen, are chosen for their high reactivity. When they fuse, they release helium and a neutron, along with vast amounts of heat. That heat could power turbines, homes, and entire cities. But only if the plasma stays still and the reaction continues long enough. Every tokamak on Earth fights the same invisible battle, trying to keep chaos in a cage of magnets. And so far, chaos keeps winning. But a new player just entered the ring, artificial intelligence, the triple product barrier. Fusion doesn't run on fuel alone. It runs on balance. To produce more energy than it consumes, a reactor must satisfy three brutal conditions at once. High temperature, high particle density, and long energy confinement. Together, these three form what scientists call the triple product. If any one of them is too low, the fusion fizzles. Too cool, and atoms don't fuse. Too diffuse, and collisions rarely happen. Too unstable, and energy leaks away before it can be captured. The goal isn't just to spark fusion. That's been done many times. The goal is to sustain it to break even, better yet, to ignite. Physicists estimate that a tokamak must achieve a triple product high enough for the reaction to release at least 20 times more energy than was used to heat the plasma. That's the threshold for a working power plant, but it's a threshold no one's crossed. Not even the mighty ITER reactor in France. The math says it's possible, but the magnets say otherwise. The plasma resists being held, slips from its magnetic bottle, and cools too fast. And no matter how many knobs are turned, the shape always seems to fight back. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below.
It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Deep Mind Steps In For years, physicists tried to tame plasma with models, rules, and hardwired control systems. But the problem wasn't just physical. It was dynamic. Plasma moves like a living thing, unstable, unpredictable, fast. So, when engineers at the Swiss Plasma Center began collaborating with Google's DeepMind, the goal wasn't to redesign the reactor. It was to outthink the plasma. DeepMind, best known for mastering complex games and protein folding, turned its attention to the fusion challenge with a simple question. Which problems in this field are solvable with machine learning today? Plasma control stood out. Not fuel, not magnets, but shape. The shape of the plasma inside the tokamak defines everything. Its temperature, its pressure, and its stability. But controlling that shape is like trying to carve fog with a magnet. Deep Minds researchers believed their algorithms could do what human reflexes couldn't predict plasma movement before it happened, and adjust magnetic fields in milliseconds. This wasn't about brute force. It was about learning patterns, behaviors, tendencies. Fusion had met intelligence. And if it worked, they wouldn't just stabilize the plasma. They might unlock entirely new shapes never held before. Learning like a brain. To teach a machine how to hold plasma, DeepMind didn't use instructions, it used trial and error. The method is called reinforcement learning, an algorithmic approach inspired by how animals learn. The system tries something. If it succeeds, it's rewarded. If it fails, it's punished. Over time, the algorithm gets better at predicting which actions lead to good outcomes. In fusion, that means learning which magnet configurations hold the plasma steady and which let it escape. But here's the challenge. Fusion reactors are expensive. They can't be run for weeks just to let an AI stumble around. So DeepMind did what any good pilot does. They trained in a simulator. A virtual version of the Swiss tokamak allowed the neural network to experiment freely, thousands of times faster than reality. It learned not just one shape, but many round, elongated, pinched, double-lobed, each with different confinement properties. And then, like a student stepping into the real world, the AI took what it had learned and applied it to the actual reactor. No manual tweaks, no human overrides, just a machine trying to hold a star in place and getting better every second. Holding fire in form, when the AI finally took control inside the Swiss reactor, the results were unlike anything seen before. The plasma wasn't just held, it was sculpted. Using rapid-fire adjustments to the magnetic fields, the system maintained precise exotic shapes that human operators rarely attempted. Some were narrow and tall, others were wide and flat. A few were twisted into strange, almost artistic forms. These weren't for show. Each shape had a purpose. The tighter the plasma is confined, the less energy it loses. This is called energy confinement time, a critical part of the triple product. Picture a leaky bottle. The longer it can hold water, the more useful it becomes. Fusion reactors are no different. The right plasma shape can stop heat from escaping too quickly, making the entire reaction more efficient. But such shapes have always been too unstable. Until now, for the first time, a machine was holding these advanced configurations in real time, predicting turbulence before it started. Watching the plasma curve and stretch like liquid light, one physicist remarked it was like watching a dancer balance on a wire, graceful, delicate, and utterly new, the return of the doublet. Among the shapes the AI mastered, one stood out, the doublet. Two droplets of plasma, stacked and held in balance. First proposed in the 1970s by researchers at General Atomics, the doublet once promised better stability and stronger confinement. But it was abandoned. The magnetic precision it needed was beyond the control systems of the time. Researchers moved on to the D-shape, a safer compromise. 
But DeepMind's AI doesn't fear complexity. It doesn't hesitate. It simply learns. And in simulation, the doublet returned. Then, incredibly, it was achieved in real life, held steady. Watching this shape reappear wasn't just nostalgic. It was a sign. AI might not only help fusion succeed, it could help resurrect old ideas we once gave up on. With modern tools, yesterday's impossibilities are today's experiments. The doublet, long buried in journals, may become the new blueprint. What happens next? DeepMind's success isn't the end. It's the start of something larger. Holding complex shapes is a milestone, but it's not ignition. The AI must still prove itself in larger reactors and longer tests. Reliability is everything. Power plants can't afford constant instability. Scaling up means more data, tougher challenges, and smarter algorithms. What works in Switzerland must be made to work in ITER. But now, fusion isn't just about brute force. Intelligence is part of the equation. We have a tool that doesn't just react, it anticipates. That shift is as big as superconducting magnets or new fuels. Over time, this A, I may become a quiet partner in every fusion lab, guiding, learning, and adjusting. Not by muscle, but by foresight. And maybe that's the secret. Not to conquer the sun, but to move with it, thoughtfully, precisely. Until one day, we stop chasing fusion and start building with it. The sun has always been beyond our reach, a distant fire, watched but never touched. But fusion changes that. It brings the star to Earth, not with firewood or oil, but with science, precision, and now, intelligence. The road ahead is still long. Reactors must grow. Algorithms must adapt. And breakthroughs must become routines. But something fundamental has shifted. We're no longer fighting plasma with guesswork. We're learning to listen to it, to shape it, to guide it. And maybe, just maybe, that's how you tame a star, not by force, but by finally understanding how it breathes.